it's Brendan Queen time. Uptown Charlotte for a Cars Tour Media Day. Where are you going? Come back. Hi. Brought my PR girl, <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, I was allowed one guest today, so we're getting ready to go to NASCAR Studios to do some Cars Tour production day interviews, photos, stuff like that. So we figured we'd vlog this and uh, get some behind the scene footage of what goes into a production day. This is my first one, not hers. She's a pro. She's a veteran at this, right? In my first radio. So uh, we are staying right next to the Hall of Fame, pretty much. NASCAR Hall of Fame down here in Charlotte. Um, today is Thursday. We will be at the track Friday and Saturday for the Cars Tour kickoff. So we're doing the production day today. So it's going to be exciting, a little different. Looking forward to it. Nothing, but we are here today for race day. Uh, here comes Kevin into the trailer. Kevin! Brittany Queen! We got two rounds of practice today, 20 minutes, qualified race at 3 o'clock. No, you won't notice. Check it out on Flow, even though this ain't going to be live. We still got a good plug. What do you think? There's a, I don't know, but I, what I do know is there's a little kid out there waiting. Oh! To meet you. Oh, okay, we got to go meet. A little bean sprout. So uh, we're looking forward to a good kickoff to the Cars Tour today. It's going to be a great year. Woo!
got Kevin the water boy here. He is a water boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shop Chevrolet. I think we got our answer on Robusto's car. You could see the water that was coming out of the overflow. Definitely some overheating gremlins for the Fort Mill, South Carolina native. There's late model stock car series debut for 2023. We'll come to an end here with about 44 laps to go after making four starts in 2022. Here's Brendan Butterbean Queen to the back bumper of Chad McCombie off four. And this doesn't surprise me about Brendan Butter being Queen. When we were watching even earlier this year, the icebreaker, how far behind the pack that Brendan fell in that first run and yet stormed up and nearly found his way back up into the top five after spinning and qualifying. So Queen definitely one that, at least with Lee Pulliam performance here, has really shown the ability to have that late run speed. 
I know we saw Matthew Dillner walking about the grid before the engines were fired earlier, and he got to catch up with Brendan Queen at Media Day. And I'll tell you, there's a clip of this on the Flow Racing social outlets. I know Morgan Wallen came up. I know that there were some Tim Richmond stories. You want to talk about a powerful personality who's also a very talented race car driver? Look no further than Brendan Queen. He's quite the character, and he's trying to vie for a top five spot here with 40 to go. Pete McCaskill still your leader. You can see some more lap traffic up the road, including Ryan Wilson, who was falling from the sixth starting spot and is hanging on. And you can see him get out of the way for your race leaders and let them settle it amongst themselves.